back today and I'm going to be doing a video on things that I've been buying in preparation for summer. And it's like clothes, shoes, makeup, things like that. And these are all things that I really like and have been using. Um, not using, but I have not wanted to return, I guess. And I'm excited to use them when summer comes. Um, but before I talk about those things, I want to show you guys a couple coffee table books I bought and I want to show you a flower arrangement that I usually that I recently made or made yesterday. And if you were if you've been following my blog, you would have seen these things on the blogs. I took pictures of them. But I want to show you up close. I want to talk about the books and stuff because I really, really, really like them and I got them for really good deals. So I think it I wanted to pass that on to you guys. So I'm gonna start off with my flower arrangement first. And um, so this is it and I thought it was so cute and it was so easy and I kind of like, I don't know, I wanted to show you how easy it was, I guess. But this vase is from Jonathan Adler and I actually got it on sale and it's still on sale on Jonathan Adler right now and I've just like, it's definitely my favorite vase I have. And all I did was like, um, get some pretty like inexpensive filler. These green berries are like filler and then I just stuck a big flower in on one side. And I think it's so cute and different and it's so, it was really inexpensive. And something like this would have cost so much money, I feel like, at a flower store. And I think it looks, like, pretty professional. So, yeah. I was really happy with the way it turned out. So, that, and then on to my coffee table book. The first one I want to talk about is so ginormous. And I honestly did not know it was this big. But it's by the um, book publisher Tashin. I think that's the way you pronounce it. And they have, like, really, they make, like, really, really beautiful books. And I don't know why, but I'm really, not really into, but I'm, kind of weirdly into like the the circus <laughs> sounds so funny um and like the early circus not like the circus the way it is now but like from like this book is dated from like the 1870s to the 1950s and it comes in this really really big gorgeous kind of like box and there are so many humongous like original photos in here and stuff and i just really really like it so much i think it's really really cool and it just looks really nice and I hope one day to have like a huge um, library, not a huge library, but like a wall that has a big bookcase on it and I could have it full of like books that I'm interested in. So this is my first part of the collection. But yeah, so this book is probably over $100 usually and I think I got it on Amazon for about 40 US dollars, which is really, really good. And the size and the weight of it, I mean just, it's really cool and the, the information in it is really interesting. Then I have four other books to talk about, and I got them all, actually I got the three out of the four I'm going to show you, I got them also on Amazon. And I didn't have any of Jonathan Adler's books, and it's because I knew I could have gotten them on um, Amazon for slightly cheaper, and I did. So I picked up these two, and they're the smaller of the three. Um, they're really cute, but I didn't find them to have like any kind of fascinating kind of design in like information in them. They're kind of fun to like flip through and stuff, but I didn't really take anything away from them useful. But if you want like small cute coffee table books that are pretty inexpensive, you can go for these. Then the next one I got is the bigger one of the Jonathan Adler books. And this one was really, really neat. I think this is his newest one. And it's a pretty, you know, big size when I say it's like 12 by 12 or something. But uh, it's nice and it's really, really packed with like relative information and um, useful information and the pictures are really cool and it's, I don't know, I really like it. I was really impressed with it. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this one. And I'll put, I'll try to link every, everything I talk about in this video in the below, in the down box, box down below. And then the last of the books, and this one is probably my favorite top three, my second or third favorite out of the other ones because I think the circus one <laughs> wins. But this one is called Vintage Cocktails. And I originally saw this when I went, sorry, when I went to Anthropology, and I thought it was around $50. And I thought I could find it online for cheaper, but I wasn't able to. So I went back to, um, to Anthropology and I purchased it. And I'm really, really, really in love with it. It's kind of like, um, it's a, a hardback, but it's not because it's kind of like squishy, I think. It has some kind of a, I don't know, it's squishy. <laughs> and then um, inside, 
is about, I'd say, 75 probably different cocktails, uh, vintage cocktails. So let's just flip open to any random one. And this is how it's laid out. And I just really, really like it. I like the chalkboard kind of recipe on one side and the big photograph of, you know, the vintage cocktail on the other. I think it's really neat. But I think it would have been so cool if they kind of added some kind of, like, history about the drink or maybe, like, the, which Hollywood stars like to drink each drink or something like that. Because there's nothing, I mean, it's called vintage cocktails, but I like to know kind of, like, Maybe the history of them or something would be kind of neat, like just in the corner. I don't know, <laughs> wishful thinking. But yeah, this is really neat and there's a lot of really, really kind of fun looking cocktails. Okay, so now on to the makeup that I've been collecting. And I <laughs> need, I've realized that I need to step away from the bronzer. And I know you guys have been telling me this, or a lot, some of you guys have been telling me this for like the longest time that I put too much on. And I don't think that it was I was putting too much on. I think that it was that I was getting the wrong color and I wasn't blending it. And so I just realized that every single bronzer I ever try like literally turns orange on me or looks like incredibly muddy. So I have found one and it is a bronzer but it's such a light bronzer that it almost looks like it, it can, it's like a face uh, powder. So the one I found is called Matte Bronze and it's number 10 by Makeup Forever and the color is really really light but it just gives me that like really subtle glow it's really subtle so it's almost impossible for me to make that like gross line that I had in some of those in some of my very like beginning videos so I'm really happy with this and then on my cheeks I'm wearing also Makeup Forever Sculpting Blush in number 18 and I'm not going to recommend this because I think we already a lot of us already have um, blush is similar to this one. This is similar to NARS Orgasm and like Calypso, uh, what's it called? The Coralista by Benefit, which is the one I have. It's like that same kind of tint, but I got it because the girl recommended I do because it w went well with this bronzer apparently. And it is pretty. I really like it, but I feel like I have two of the same colors now. Um, and then as far as I have an under eye concealer. I first saw Lisa Lisa D1 talking about this concealer and I went to, I think she said she got it at Nordstrom or something, but my Nordstrom didn't carry it and I just forgot about it afterwards. It's the Cle de Po or something, Cle de Po um, under eye concealer and I'm sure a lot of you guys have been hearing about this. It is pretty pricey and I didn't realize it was going to be $70, but I'm not going to return it because it is a good under eye concealer. Uh, I would definitely say that the one that I use by Makeup Forever is the same kind of quality, but this one is easier to put on. It's just more kind of milky, not milky, um, creamy. Um, it is obviously a good um, quality makeup. I got the lightest one of the three shades I think they have. I don't also, I don't really need it. I don't have under eye dark circles, but I really like to have as white underneath my eyes as possible. Okay, then for lips, what I'm wearing on my lips right now is um, this by Makeup Forever, and it's in number 21. And it's just like a really kind of, um, like natural, pink, not natural, like shell pink, baby pink color with no sparkle or anything, it's pretty. And then this on top is Chanel number 56. And I shared Chanel number 57 with you guys, which is almost like a bubblegum pink. This one is like a shade lighter and way more natural. And it just gives that perfect kind of pink lip, natural pink lip without being obnoxious, I think. So I like it, it's pretty. So that's for my makeup. And then as far as hair um, stuff, so you guys know that I pretty much don't do my hair. I just kind of like blow out my bangs and then just like leave the rest. And I don't necessarily like it, but I um, my hair is like pretty processed because of all the blonde I used to do or do. So I really can't, don't want to do it every day. Um, so I opt not to. Um, I do use the my Sasha Wan Hair Ocean Mist that I talk about all the time. But I found this and I, I kind of wanted something different because the Sasha Wan stuff, though it works amazingly and I do really, really like it, it doesn't smell very good at all. So this one is by Orbi and um, it's called Wave and Shine Spray. And I kind of want to show you guys like what it does. 
I almost feel like it's just the power of how strong it is when you spray that gives you a wave, honestly. Like, okay, let me see if I can recreate this for you. See how, see how like strong it is? It like moves my entire head, right? It's like so strong, I feel like it just, I, I don't know what it is. But it smells really good and um, it gives you a lot of volume. It gives you a lot of volume and shine. So it's good and it smells really good. I will be using this, but I feel like it's a little more drying maybe. So I wanna know what you guys' experience is with this, if you use it, um, because I just recently got it and I'm not 100% sure about it yet. So now on to sunglasses. I did buy another pair of sunglasses. Um, I just recently bought the Miu Miu ones that you guys know about, but those are so kind of unique that I feel like I can't wear those every single day. Even though I want to, I just feel like I am have like a uniform because I wear those all the time that I wanted to get something to change up my outfits and things like that. And I did get these, they're by Dita. And I first saw them when I was in Barney's maybe a month or so ago, and I tried them on, and it's so funny, right? Because I had a weird, ex I had that weird experience with the Miu Miu salesperson and the sunglasses, but now with these, I had like another experience. <laughs> so weird. I um, was in there and I tried them on, and the sales guy was around, and I asked him if he thought they were too big on me, and he said, "Yeah, you should definitely not get them." So I didn't get them because he he literally said that to me. So I like put them down and like walked away in, like, in shame. But then I was thinking about it and I thought, whatever, I really like them, I'm gonna get them. So they, yeah, they are like kind of big on my face, but I think they're very cute and they're good for like the beach and it's like hot weather and they're simple, but they're big and they're like statement classes, but they don't have like a logo or anything on them and I like that. Um, so yeah, I went back and got them. First thing I want to talk about or I want to show you is this skirt that I got from H&M and it's a leather skirt and it has a sort of like um, slip kind of effect on the bottom that comes out and I really like this because it's very different and I feel like it's very Alexander Wang kind of like inspired. Um, it's really, really pretty and very kind of flattering on. It's from H&M. The next shorts I got, I got them in all three colors and they were very inexpensive. I think they were $14.95 a piece. And um, they're kind of just like that cute little shell scalloped edge on the bottom. I got them in the baby pink, the black, and the hot. I'm actually going on a little kind of getaway this weekend to Palm Springs again. And you guys know that I, well, you, some of you guys know <laughs> that I like going there. And um, so that's why I have kind of already been collecting things because I wanted some new options when I for this weekend. And I want also my nails. Like I decided to get them done this color because I feel like this color is very appropriate for Palm Springs. I would never usually go this like crazy bright hot pink kind of like Barbie color, but I thought it'd be fun and different for that. So that's that explains that. I don't know the color either. I'm so sorry. I know all of you guys are going to ask me, but it was just like one of those kind of cheapy salon brands that they had there. It's a, like a very, just like true neon pink, honestly. <laughs> okay, the next thing I'll talk about are these kind of leather shorts from Zara. And I really like them because they have this zipper on the side and I have these shorts in the pant version as well. I really, really like them. They're kind of different and um, they're gonna be a good alternative to my black leather shorts that I wear all the time for summer. The next shorts I wanna talk about are from Zara and I did blog about these as well. And I think they're a really awesome buy because they're pretty inexpensive. And I got them in all three colors. And I haven't worn um, the, the pink option yet, but I wore the blue and the white. And I just think they're really cute. The blue is really, kind of a really neat color blue. And the pink is so cute, isn't it? So the next is a blazer I got, and it's the, actually the blazer I'm wearing with my outfit today. So I'll put it on so you can see it. And I got it from Zara, and it's really kind of a Chanel-esque or Chanel-inspired option or um, one. And 
I really like it because it's like soft and some are soft looking and summery and just kind of neat. So that's that. Pretty. Okay, and then also as far as tank tops, if you guys ever see me wearing tank tops in any of my kind of outfit of the days or anything, it's most likely going to be two brands. It's either going to be um, the Brandy Melville ones or the H&M. And this is the H&M style, and these are so inexpensive. I think mean, they're $12 a piece, and they're kind of just that faux kind of silk feeling, but I think they're polyester. And they just are really flattering and comfortable, and they go with everything. I got that in um, hot pink black and like a light pink. And then the ones from Brandy Melville, um, I have them in, I have them in several kind of dark colors, and they're all tea-backed. Like that, and they're actually cut pretty short, so it's easy to kind of do my little tug in the front thing. Um, and I like them, except for the armhole on the side is so large that you can see your bra strap. So you have to wear maybe some kind of like a lacy bandeau top, or if you like, I don't really like doing that. So I usually wear a blazer over, but then it kind of limits you, and you can't take off your blazer if you don't want your bra to show. So though these are really comfortable and inexpensive, and like a good fitting tank, that's one downside to them. The next brand I want to talk about is Wild Fox, and I'm sure a lot of you guys know what Wild Fox is. It's a kind of a t-shirt brand, mostly, and their t-shirts are really expensive, I feel like. They're like 68 to 98 and up dollars, US dollars, and so whenever I see them in the mall, I though I want to try one on, I never have because I just can't spend $100 on a, a top, and they usually have some kind of funny saying or something on them, but recently I um, found there was a sample sale um, in, in LA, so I was able to go to that, and I got the, the tops for about $10 a piece, so I chose three of them, and it's funny because I went to Bloomingdale's like short, like, you know, a couple days later, and they had the exact same shirt that I bought for $10 there for $75 or something, <laughs> so I totally scored, but um, actually the shirt I'm wearing right now um, is the what, one of the shirts from Wild Fox that I got with like a, it's like a really pretty kind of Tiffany blue teal with a butterfly on it, and I don't like butterflies, and I'm not like... Um, I, I'm usually a person who wears, you know, logos or things, but I really like this. I think it's kind of cute and good for summer. I don't know. So anyway, this is another shirt that I got, and like I said, I don't, you guys, if you watch my videos, you know that I, this is not something I would normally wear, but I wear this with my All Saints skirt. The other night, just untucked and over it, and it just looked kind of like effortless and cute, I feel like, and I wore a black blazer over it. I thought it was different, and I liked it. I have, I have to tell you, these shirts are amazing. They, like, fit so well, and I kind of wish I could almost get ones without any writing on them because they would be, like, the perfect shirt, but I kind of like the writing, too. Kind of gives it something. But, yeah. I think whenever there's like a wild fox sale or something, I'm going to be going to them because I really like their things. Okay, and then next is a dress that I got, and it's on a cleaner's kind of hanger because I had it hemmed. And I got this one from H&M, and I don't have too many summer dresses yet, but this one's more of like, um, it's not formal, but it's not too casual. Like I, I think it's kind of too nice for casual. But uh, I got this from Zara, and I think it's just kind of cute. I don't know what, really where I'd wear it, but it was pretty long when I got it, and I had them hem it about an inch and a, inch and a half, and I kind of wish I would have gotten it shorter, actually, because it's still kind of long. I like to wear things kind of short, but this is really cute. I'm excited to wear that. And then I got a pair of jeans from Zara. Actually, they're not jeans. They are like pants, but they're kind of neat and different. Um, they're, they're these snake skin, skinny pants, and I just got them this weekend. I think they're really neat, and I like the kind of pattern of them. I think it's really cool. I do have uh, those neon wedges that I bought from Zara um, that you guys have seen on my blog, but I haven't worn them really, so I don't really want to talk about them because I don't know if I like them yet too much, but these I've worn and I love them. They're my new sandals from Zara, and I think they're really, really cool um, and different and unique. They have like a kind of a top strap and then a strap on the toe and then it, there's two kind of ankle straps too. 
So that's it. All right, guys, um, I think that's it. I hope this isn't too long. Actually, it's gonna be pretty long. But yeah, I'm off to a vacation, like a little weekend getaway this weekend, and I'm so happy because I've been working like crazy, so I kind of like need a break. Um, and then, just so you guys know, my old shop, um, www.shopwithhrh.com, is actually open again. It was closed for a long time, and I think a lot of you guys know because I posted that information on my blog, just in case you didn't know, it is open. Um, my new designs are, are not on there because I want to launch my brand new site with my brand new line. So, I'm sorry, it's, there's just so many like speed bumps I've been hitting and things, but hopefully soon, hopefully soon. I'm so, so sorry for this. I promise you guys I'm really working on it, and I don't want you to think that I keep on saying, oh yeah, two weeks, two weeks, but it's not two weeks, you know? And it's, I know it's obnoxious and irritating of me, but I'm just running into speed bumps. It's harder than I thought it was going to be to to get this started. <laughs> so I just want to let you guys know and give you guys an honest, like, honestly what's going on. All right, so everyone has a great week. And again, I'm sorry for not doing videos as often as I should. But uh, I miss you guys. I miss doing videos. And I'm going to promise, I'm going to try not to, like, leave so much gap between this video and my next one. Try my hardest. Okay? <laughs> Bye.